Good morning, students. Welcome back to the online classes of Saint Thomas School, Standard Six, Subject Maths. So, in the previous lecture, we discussed exercise thirteen point one, that is completed. Now, further, now let's start exercise thirteen point two. First question. Find the number of lines of symmetry for each of the following shapes. So there are many possibilities are there for the lines of symmetry. There can be no lines of symmetry means that given shape is not symmetrical. There can be one line of symmetry. Okay. Then next two lines of symmetry. Then it's possible to have four lines of symmetry. Three sorry three lines of symmetry. Then it comes. Four lines of symmetry. Then it's possible five lines of symmetry, six lines of symmetry. That depends on the shape, which shape, which figure it is given. Okay. And at last, it comes infinite lines of symmetry. That totally depends on the figure. First one, here square is given. So, let's see. How many lines of symmetries are there for the square? First, this is the first one. Okay, uh, I have drawn here vertical line of symmetry. Now you can fold this square vertically, so both this part will overlap to each other. Then second, this is the second line of symmetry. horizontal then diagonal this is the third one and here is the fourth one so total four number of lines of symmetry then next figure one shape is given here also it's possible to have four lines of symmetry this way two okay this is the third one and here is the fourth one then C. It's again. It's a square. Okay. So same thing you have to repeat. Then D. In the D, only one line of symmetry is possible, because this kind of figure is given. So if you are going to draw vertical line of symmetry and fold both of the part, then you can see both will overlap to each other. Then that next E. Your hexagon is given. In this hexagon. Total number of lines of symmetries are six. This is the first one, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Total number of lines of symmetry are six. Again, it's a square. This one. Okay. So total number of lines of symmetries are. Next, this is the shape is one kind of shape is given. Now, first of all, draw vertical line of symmetry and fold this. Then you can see this part will come here. Okay, in this blank space. Okay, this part will come here in this blank space. It means both of this portion will not overlap to each other. Same thing if you are going to draw vertical horizontal line of symmetry. Then again, this part. Will come here. It will not overlap to the other part. So no lines of symmetry. Same way swastik is given. Here also it's not possible to have any line of symmetry. So answer is no lines of symmetry. And in the last one, flower is given. Then we can see how many lines of symmetries are there. This is the first one. Then second one. Fourth, sorry, this is the third. This is the fourth one. Previous one was the third one, and last it is the fifth one. So this is the fifth line. Oh, no? uh, total number of lines of symmetry is five. And now let me explain. This is the first line of symmetry. Now, if you are going to fold it, then this petal 
here in this petal both the part will overlap to each other okay two parts which are there let's see this is the first part okay and here is the second half this both part will overlap to each other then this both petal will overlap to each other and this both petals will overlap to each other now question number 2 Copy the triangle in each of the following figures on square paper. In each case, draw the lines of symmetry, if any, and identify the type of triangle. So, you have no need to draw this triangle in the square paper. You can draw in your fair notebook also. Here already, it's a draw. This is the first one. Here, one line of symmetry is possible. Okay. Then, here also one line of symmetry. Here also one line of symmetry and here no line of symmetry is possible. Why? Because you can see here in this triangle, this side is greater than this. So it's not possible. Remaining these three triangles are uniform triangle. Means it's possible to divide, it's possible to draw line of symmetry. Next. Third question, complete the following table. Here, shape, name of the shape it is given. You have to draw rough figure and number of lines of symmetry you have to write. First one it is given, equilateral triangle. Second one is a square. And uh, in the first question we have seen how many lines of symmetry the square have? Four. Okay. Then rectangle. In a rectangle it is two only. This diagonal you can't draw. If you are going to draw this diagonal, then you can see this both corner will not overlap to each other. Then isosceles triangle. It means two sides are equal. Then it is possible to have a two, one line of symmetry. Then rhombus. It is one kind of quadrilateral. In a rhombus, two lines of symmetries are possible. Okay. This, this is also possible here it is not written but remaining to this way you can draw the two lines of symmetry. So total number of lines of symmetry can be 4. Circle then infinite number of lines of symmetry is possible. Question number 4 onwards we will see in the next lecture. Thank you.